Hey everybody! So today we are going to be taking a quick look at the GMK Tech the G3 Nook Box. It's not a horrible name, I just can't English uh, words well. Anyways, it's a kind of a big box. So let's check it out. So I don't know what it is about a clean box, but this thing is stout. You can see it took a bump, but it is a really nice box. So let's open it up, and there we go. It is surrounded by foam very, very tightly, like quite nice foam. So let's pull that out, and then we have a manual, and I haven't opened that yet, so let's check that out here in a minute. And we have two little boxes, so let's pull those out, set that aside. Let me open all of these. Okay, so we have a manual. Geek Modern create Creativity. How to plug it in. Little detail sheet about its specs. The warranty. Entitled to a 12 month warranty. And okay, that was it. Alright, next box. We have a charger and a warranty card. If any problems, feel free to scan the QR code. We'll offer our best solutions, GMK Tech. Nice. And the power supply is a generic. Uh, sorry, my fingers. Disgusting. Oh, so only a 12 volt power supply. Okay, I'm used to these little guys being 19 volt. And the last box. We have a mount and an HDMI cable. Cool. The computer. On the front we have two USB ports. I think these are uh, 3.2 gen. Yeah. And then we have two HDMI's, another two 3.2's, headphone jack, Kensington lock, barrel jack, and uh, 3.2 uh, 2.5 Ethernet. We've got the label, and yep, it's 8 gigs of RAM, 512 hard drive, or SSD, and Windows 11 Pro. Alright, so the one thing I did really kind of like about this little guy is to upgrade it, there's no screws on the bottom, it's quite literally just rip off the top. That's it. So in here we have access to one SODIMM slot. Sadly, I wish it was two, but I don't know if that's a limitation of the CPU because this has an N100 inside of it. Uh, there is also a uh, M.2, I think that's B key, and then this is the NVMe M.2 it's uh, M key, so M and B, and then underneath that is the M.2 A and E key M, uh, slot. And to take this little guy apart, there are screws on the inside around the frame there, and the frame is your Wi-Fi antenna. So I thought that was kind of cool. All right, let's... Uh, hook it up and do some testing. But first, I think that's it for this video. Who am I kidding? I have to take it apart. So taking it apart was fairly easy. Just take out those four screws in the frame and then the frames got little clips that you pop out. And yeah, that's it. That is a 
kind of a large heat sink and a quite tiny fan. Got a single heat pipe, it looks like. Cool. Um, can you see? Yeah, so you can see the heat pipe is touching over half of the plate, so that should be good thermal transfer. Okay, now it's time to put it back together and turn it on. But that's for the next video. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, thank you to GMK Tech for sponsoring this uh, computer to me. Thanks. Bye. I forgot to show you the Wi-Fi card, so there it is. It's CD Tech and PCI plus USB. And it's a real tech uh, thingy chipset. There we go. And again, while I have stuff out, here is the Mason Simi MC3100T. It is a PCIe 3.0 by 4 SSD. Cool.